Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventure Jeff channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things in this video, but we'll just start out with this. I went down to the local Harley Davidson dealer, Perry's, and uh, checked that out. I wanted to see the new Pan America. Got distracted by a lot of things like this paint job, um, this semi truck, and then I just ended up standing around kind of BSing with the guys about the Pan America and other stuff. Uh, everybody was super nice. Um, cool fact I learned about Perry's is the oldest Harley Davidson dealer uh, in Michigan. As far as I know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but the Pan America looks cool. Um, I'm excited to ride one. I got there pretty late, so um, they were kind of done with the demos. But it was sweet. Um, got to check it out. Looks really cool. It's got some cool features. Uh, the only thing I'm not a super huge fan of is like the front end looks kind of weird, but all adventure bikes look kind of weird. Um, I don't know. And the engine kind of looks fake-ish. I mean, obviously, it's not, but it just seems kind of goofy. Uh, but anyways, I was pretty hyped when I left. Uh, I was having a good time, so uh, I decided to hit like this local little dirt track dealio um, that's kind of back here. We're just playing around for a while, um, having a good time. 990 sounds amazing. Um, basically, no traction back here in this hard pack, but it makes for fun sliding and everything like that. So we got a couple of little B-roll clips here, the 990, uh, making a lot of racket. You can see her wagging her tail, no traction again. Um, and then uh, I got some footage of my mom. She's never ridden a dirt bike, so I took her riding for Mother's Day. And let's go ahead and check it out. Here she is. Hey, hey. All right, folks, this is my mom. This is her first 20 minutes of dirt bike riding. We are moving, feet on pegs, first gear cruising. Absolutely killing it, Mom. She could drive a manual car forever, so this was pretty easy teaching her, honestly. She picked it up really fast. And uh, she said she's having fun, so we're gonna go do just a little tiny loop, and, uh, and we'll see what she thinks. Yeah! <laughs> That's good! That's good! Look at her riding sand, no big deal. She killed it! How was that? Good. That was pretty good, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, dang, she did really good. She didn't drop it or nothing. Yeah, nothing. I scared the shit. I put my feet down. That's fine. My That's feet went totally flying trying to. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, don't stop, Mary. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Yeah, you went right up it. Sand Hill and everything. That was awesome. So, this is my girlfriend's XT250, and I just wanted to go take it out and climb this hill real quick. But, um, really proud of my mom. She did absolutely amazing on the dirt bike. Um, same for my girlfriend. She's just been absolutely killing it every time we ride. She's getting better and better. So, um, proud of both of these uh, women in my life. And, uh, so here we are back to the XT250. Um, it's a hilariously fun bike. Um, if anybody's considering getting one, it's super fun. Uh, it's like a little mountain goat. It's got super sharp steering angle. Um, and I can just track to that thing everywhere through the woods. It's a riot. So then I ended up riding my buddy's CRF250L. Um, he changed the gearing on it. I know he's got like an exhaust and a fuel controller, um, but I believe he dropped a tooth on the front and went up like two teeth on the rear so it's like basically a five tooth um, increase on the rear and uh, it did make a noticeable difference uh, definitely had a little bit more pep to it um, I didn't get to ride it on the pavement or anything to see how the gear ratio was affected that way um, but this bike is actually pretty good the suspension is not too awful bad um, I know people complain about them being heavy but it, it runs fine you know it's a great adventure like ultra light adventure dual sport bike it's got a heavy subframe you know you can carry whatever you want on it so it's been crashed quite a few times and it seems to be indestructible so um anyways here i am following my girlfriend and uh she was doing really good too she got a little squirrely in the sand there but uh otherwise no big deal she's on her xt250 and i'm on her little crf100 here um sawyer waiting for me there and then um me and sawyer are going fart around a little bit um kind of try and shred the CRF 100 just uh, wringing its neck basically I weigh like 220 pounds so I'm a little bit rough on it and uh, check out that hard brake my girlfriend just did there um, we practiced rear brake lockups a couple weeks ago just to get her used to the rear sliding around a little bit and rear brake control and uh, yeah here we go on the little CRF uh, all eight horsepower or whatever it's got 
and uh, it's it's a super fun bike too. Uh, I, almost every time I ride a small bike, I have maybe more fun than when I ride the big bikes. You really can extract. Uh, I don't even know how to say it. Like it seems like you can kind of push the bike more to its uh, capabilities than I can. Like on my YZ, like that bike is so much more capable than I am. Um, but on this bike, you know, it's probably more capable than I am to shoot. But um, it's really fun to push it closer to its limits and you know try to ride it on the edge. And it gives you a lot more confidence when you get on a heavier bike. Um, the reason why we got this was because my girlfriend had a little bit of a spill on her XT250, and so now that we have the CRF100, she's really um, I've noticed big jumps in um, her confidence and the way that she attempts things and rides things. She stands up a lot more now, stays on her pegs, keeps her feet on the pegs. Um, glad we got it plus uh, I enjoy ripping it around Sawyer ripped it around uh, and it is just a good time so, so move on me and Sawyer ended up going into a little short loop um, around Kalkaska and uh, I believe we rode about 14 miles and I don't know it couldn't have been 45 minutes or something like that I'd have to pull my GPX track to know for sure but um, we just went for a short little rip didn't want to leave the family sitting alone too off along and it was Sunday we had to kind of get rolling um, to get back home we had a few hours so uh, I'll let this play out there's some deer in here um, there's some shred it gets a little bit uh, tighter some fruits and stuff like that um, me and Sawyer just kind of BSing around got a little Sunday ride in the day before this we rode ever so we were both uh, not tip top shape um, he actually rode a little bit farther on Everett. I had some other buddies with me that were on dual sports. Uh, we camped kind of by the trail, so uh, once we got past the Sugar Bowl, I came back. I did about 75% of the loop and we camped somewhere over there, so I just hopped off the loop at the campsite. And uh, they went and did some dual sports stuff, climbed some hills and things like that after the Sugar Bowl, and he just met back up with us later in Cow Castle. So, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Please like and subscribe. There's the deer I was talking about. And, uh, yeah, keep checking out the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later.